Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma and welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Today we are going to get into a rather difficult mission. Probably tied for one of the hardest missions in the game, at least in my opinion. This is going to be a nightmare and a half. In the skies above Talaran, fight the Empire for control of the Tabana gas platforms. But be careful not to harm the civilian operations there. This mission is so complex, I really dislike it. We're taking in the alien, you can already see where this is going. Yeah, we are going to die very often. <sighs> Let's just get it on with. Oh yeah, we're also starting up a new chapter. This is starting up a uh, significant chapter in the game. It's the second to last chapter in the game, although the last chapter is really just one mission. Plus bonus missions, but we'll get into that later. Chapter 3, The New Threat. With the rescue of Wedge Antilles and Rogue Squadron at full strength, the Rebel Alliance turns its attention to a new Imperial threat, Moff Kohl Sirdren. Or Kohel. Kohel. Kohl Sirdren. I don't know. Preparing to capture Thyfera with its precious supply of the healing Bacta, Sirdren is now consolidating his power for a massive attack. His success could very well break the fledgling rebellion and surely doom the galaxy to Imperial rule. Bacta is the greatest source of healing liquid in the galaxy, so he's cutting off all healing for everybody but the Empire. Luke Skywalker and Rogue Squadron are assigned to disrupt the operations with swift hit and run missions against key targets such as the Imperial Mining Operation near Talaran. I hate this mission! It took me an hour or two to get through this when I was practicing, and I only got through it once! We're going to see what happens this time. If this takes forever, it will be the only mission I do today. If for some reason the powers that be are smiling on me today, we'll get on to a second mission after this one. It all depends on what happens. I expect to die a lot. Calorin, it's a beauty. Unfortunately, the Imperial don't. They harvest the Cabana gas to use in their weapons. It increases their firepower. They process and store it on these floating platforms. There are civilians down there too, so make sure what you're shooting at is Imperial. We're here to take out their Tabana gas supplies and do whatever damage we can to the local TIE Fighter Squadron. Huh. Now I know what it's like to be on the other side of one of these little raids. I'm having trouble with my scanners. It's the Tabana gas. Calibrate 7 Mark 9. Good shooting. You can see that the gas platforms have two kinds. If you're paying close enough attention, there are some with a symbol on the side, which we are supposed to destroy, and then there are the blue ones. Come on now. Excellent work. And that's it. Just destroy all the Imperials, kill as few blue ones as possible. You will fail the mission if you destroy too many civilian containers. TIE Fighters are now appearing in this one. Ah. Take down some TIEs if you can. You're going to need quite a few enemies if you want a gold. But I'm not going for gold in this mission, I am going for survival. In addition to survival, darn it, there's also a very important upgrade that I need to get in this mission. Where's the last one? It's on the other side, of course. If you're feeling confused by the lack of a landscape, I got two things to say about that. First of all, it's unique. There's no other mission like this. Secondly, Watch the radar, and follow these things to your next target. If you're having trouble with this mission, by playing it on your own, follow these. Now they're introducing turrets, which are exceptionally strong. Even though we got secret missiles last episode... Oh, come on. I need to not use the secret and just pump these turrets full of missiles. One of the problems that I have in this mission a lot is that my lasers will go through whatever I'm shooting at and hit whatever's on the other side. So while I'm, I can be shooting directly at Imperial targets, my blasters will go straight through them and kill the civilians. I hope that was the only one up on top. I really hope so. Also, even though you guys are shooting at the Imperials only, if there is a civilian in the way, the computer will not take that into account and destroy them. Might have seen that, my lasers are going through that last one and hitting a civilian on the other side. Yeah. 
though. Blue ones are civilian. Let's check our fire. That one was totally my fault because I wouldn't have enough room to take this one down with my blaster. Totally going through it. Totally going. Yeah, there. See, so annoying. Nice job, Skywalker. I'm beginning to see why they say you're the best. Now we've got a big one with five turrets around it. These turrets will tear you apart if you're not careful. Good thing we have advanced shields. Or I would not survive this. Even though your blasters can go through the uh, targets, your missiles will not. So use that to your advantage if you're a little scared about a collision. Come on, yeah! Ugh. In order to fire off a seeker missile straight without doing the seeking part first, you have to press the button twice. But, a problem that I have with that is if you press it too fast, it won't register the second press. So you have to push it actually kind of slow twice in a row. And if you push it too slow, it'll turn on the seeker, then turn off the seeker, and not register that you wanted to just fire it. Excellent work. Which is very annoying. There's a lot of Imperial activity up here. Listen for that, for Case and Moore to say that that line right there, because that's indicating that very soon you're going to run into a rather big problem. As soon as we're done with this part right here, big kabooms. Another reason to take out these turrets is that, oh boy, we need a friendly save to get a gold in this mission. The friendly save is that giant creature, th that thing, that corvette that's flying along with us. Some of you who are unfamiliar with Star Wars terminology are going, Haha, it's a Corvette. Well, yeah, it's actually called a Corellian Corvette. You might think that they're ripping off a car, but if you stick around until the end of the game, I'm going to show you a little secret about cars in this game. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Oh, shoot! Blow you all up! Blow you all up! Woohoo! and spin around alright so it's not gonna come with us this time that's probably a good thing I'm going to fly high somehow I have only lost one life this episode we're on this mission I guess same thing here we go gonna turn around and get a few kills here come on now you die and you die. As long as you get behind them, there are a ton of easy kills here. Just remember that the tut that the A-wing has sort of homing lasers on it. All right, that's good. Now, if we turn around and go back after following them for so long, they may respawn. So be aware of that. Where are you? Bam, instant kill. Oh, I guess I just passed a couple. This reminds me of Beston. <sighs> My squadron started it once for a possible Imperial takeover. It's small, though. Oh. No, 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 no! Okay, they're at my second life. We only have to destroy those Imperials left, but as you might have seen down in the city, there's a bonus for this level. We need that bonus. I am not finishing this level without getting that bonus. It's just not going to happen. Now, the easiest way I found to do this last time, and I'm actually going to use my missiles to destroy... Where's that TIE fighter at? Not here. Now, now they're back. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm going to assume they're flying really low or really high? I have no idea. I have no idea. Alright. I'm going to try to focus on this now. The easiest way I found to do this is to destroy some buildings. Check your fire, Skywalker. Those are civilians. I know, and I don't care. I need these buildings out of the way because unless you have a perfect controller, this bonus can be very hard to get. You gotta pull out in time. Here's something. Fast lasers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If we can finish this mission, our lasers will be twice as strong, making it easier to get time and enemies killed on all future and past missions if we go back. All we need to do now is destroy these things. I've got three missiles left. Oh no you don't. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. These guys are missile launchers, not turbo lasers. That's the thing now. Oh no you don't. No, 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 no. 
I am not losing now. I am not losing now. I swear. I just beat the mission without getting the game over. Well, I can tell you one thing, Luke. The officer on duty is not going to enjoy explaining this damage to the local moth. He may not live to tell about it. Moth theater is notoriously unforgiving. Sounds like you took lessons from Darth Vader. Silver medal. Last time I did this, I got bronze because of time completion. It's probably going to be timing now, isn't it? Yep, 17 seconds. Which I could have gotten if I had a good controller. I could perfectly fly in and out of the city. Or maybe have not turned around to gotten all those TIE Fighters. But yeah, you know, whatever. Oh, well, enemy is destroyed. I needed 90 and I got 92, so that's also a thing. Accuracy is also really hard to get in this mission. But it would be easier to get if your lasers weren't flying through everything. Anyway, carry on. Got enough time for one more mission. Oh boy. During the Talaran operation, a team of rebel commandos stole several ATPTs from an Imperial base on Fest. Unfortunately, their escape did not proceed as well as they expected. This is my favorite mission. I'm going to call it right now. It does not use my favorite craft, the V-Wing, but it is by far my favorite mission in this game. I have played this more than any other. Snowspeeder, here we go. I don't know why they have it on a craft that's flying in space, because, you know, we it's a repulsor lift vehicle. It can only operate if there's ground beneath it. That's pretty much what it does. Blast air below it so it can fly up higher. And we're flying out into space with it! Okay! When you reach your destination, you'll find an Imperial research facility from which a team of rebel commandos are attempting to liberate a squad of ATPTs. Their escape has become compromised. And we need your help to get them out of there. The speeders and tow cables will help you with any walkers you may find. Good luck. Rogue Squadron, report in. Rogue 7, standing by. Rogue 8, standing by. Rogue 9, standing by. Rogue 10, standing by. Activate Harpoon. Okay, this mission can be very difficult if you do not do it perfectly. Seriously, you have to do this perfectly if you want to get a gold medal. If you head straight to where the ATPTs are right now, you will have to wrap up an Imperial Walker while it is shooting the ATPTs, and you are guaranteed to lose one of them, denying you a gold medal. This is the last Imperial Walker that the game expects you to take out, but I'm taking it down right now, because I need it destroyed. Next, we're going to take care of these turbo lasers, but over the hill in that direction are the ATPTs. If we get too close, the game will start registering the AT-AT -AT Walkers fire on the ATPTs. We can't get too close. After that, we need to go over to the right. Destroy turbo lasers and the bunkers. Don't worry, there are not going to be any stormtroopers that come running out of there at the last second. Go ahead and destroy this one in the back. And take down this walker here before the ATPTs can escape. What you have to do, another thing you have to do, is destroy the bridge, or the gate, that is keeping the ATPTs cooped up inside the little hole where they are running around in circles. If you take too long, the ATPTs will eventually turn around and blast the gate themselves. After you, while your wee men are attacking the gate, the combined damage will inevitably result in the ATPTs destroying the gate. I'm going to get a few hits on the gate right now just to help them out. And they should be out soon. As soon as the ATPTs come out, we're going to be in a panic to kill enemies very quickly. They will be killed very fast. They are the weakest walker types in the game. Bam! Good job. You see how fast that thing dropped because I have advanced blasters? The gate is down. Repeat, the gate is down. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure they get to the landing zone attack. There are going to be three tanks that appear in this corner here. After you kill one of them, another tank will appear in the same spot. So you only have to defeat a respawning enemy once. So blow it up, another one appears, blow that up, and they won't appear in that position again. That should be the last tank over here. And move on. While the ATPTs are, by the way, they're down here. Do they escape from over there? Yeah! Walkers, stay away. While they're coming down this direction, we're going to have some tanks that eventually appear. They come! Tanks will run, come up over the horizon and start blasting the ATPTs. They can kill them very fast. Remember this. The ATPTs do not have strong shields or armor. Ugh! Almost got him. You're thinking, no, I didn't. I didn't almost get him. That wasn't very much damage at all. Advanced blasters! That is the magic. 
The AT Peaches are not completely defenseless. They do have blasters, like I mentioned before. They will fire on enemy any enemies that come in range, but they don't have a set priority. Oh shoot! No 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 no! They are on a run to get to the landing zone. They say fighters at 2-7, but nope! These are bombers at 2-7. We have two waves of bombers to take out. And the bombers will, as usual, destroy your, the guys you're protecting in one blast. One bomb hits them, they're dead, your gold is gone. Unfortunately, only one tank appears over here and it won't respawn. Oh man! If you're a perfectionist, you probably love this level too. Watch for enemy fighters. I'm on it. There went the first wave. Now we got one more. And if, with the ATPTs being where they are, if I don't kill a bomber on my first run, they're dead. That's it. No! 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 Oh shoot! No! No! You don't! 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 I don't care about accuracy. Just destroy the bombers. These guys are on a run now. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. No, 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 no. Oh, we got them. We got them. They're safe. They're safe. I can breathe. <laughs> okay. I left a couple stormtroopers over here. I'm going to go back and blast them, I think, for kills. But they're all dead. Never mind. There's a walker over here. Beware of it. Oh yeah, he's not even looking at me. Yeah, I got a couple kills there. We need to come up over the hill here. If we want a gold for sure, you can miss the gold by not coming up here and getting a bonus that you actually already have. I think we already have it. Sir, we found some sinker boats on torpedoes. We've done it. The ATPCs have reached the landing zone. Repeat, the ATPCs have reached the landing zone. Now let's go back and take care of that research facility. Personally, I think they would have wanted to leave it open so that they could break in and steal any technology that was available, but it might be faster and more painful to the Imperials if we just got in there and destroyed it. Make sure you take out the missile launchers first, as is the norm. Turblazer goes down fast. You can't touch me. Whoops, the missile did, though. By this point, uh, we've probably got enough kills to make gold, so I don't have to worry about the stormtroopers, even though I still want to shoot them. Advanced blasters are not. This thing is kind of hard to take down. A few more accuracy and kills, Excellent just for the heck work. of it. And we're done! Excellent work, Rogue Squadron. Those AKPTs would have been used by Moff Seard and the local Imperial Governor. We believe he's consolidating his forces for an attack on our Bacta supplies. But without Bacta, our medical supplies are useless. I know, Wedge. We're watching him closely. Good work. Now head back to base. Gold medal, and for once, I am not surprised at all. That was one of the best runs I've ever had, I think. Exact amount of enemies destroyed. Wow, I am glad I killed those stormtroopers by the walker before I ended that. Actually, I destroyed one of those bunkers the last second before the mission ended. So, I came pretty close to not getting a gold. <laughs> All friendly saves, bonus collected, this is a very tight mission. Once again, if you don't do it perfectly, you are not getting a gold at all. Good thing we can leave that last Imperial Walker behind because it takes time to wrap up and kill. Another reason why I like that mission is that the first mission, I believe... No, 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 not the first mission. It is the easiest mission where you can use your blasters to destroy an AT-AT. Yes, you're supposed to wrap them up with a tow cable, but it takes about 100 shots to blow them up. And if you got time and you really want to see them blow up, it's possible. You can totally destroy an Imperial Walker with just your blasters, but it takes a long time. And if you're not worried about getting a gold, come back here and start blasting that last walker after the ATPTs are safe. It's fun. It's time-consuming, but it's fun. 
Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you, everyone, for joining me for this episode where I can't believe we got two missions done. If you enjoyed it, remember to let me know by clicking the like button. Subscribe if you haven't for more episodes later on. Speaking of which, see you next time for another episode of Rogue Squadron. Take care.